Hey everybody, welcome to another game done by Diggity. Another game. Another commentary done by Diggity. Upper left-hand corner we have Sone. Bottom right-hand corner we have Mars. This is going to be game two of the winner's bracket in Hasu League Group A. Round of 16. And Mars moving out an initial SCV, so he is thinking about doing a cheesy attack once again. And I think after last match, he's feeling a little unconfident. He realized that Sone was extremely prepared. This is another one of those weird maps. So this is a BSL specialization again, Overwatch. At least I haven't seen it elsewhere. It's almost, I want to say it's like Eclipse. It almost reminds me of the old map Katrina, which was a little bit negatively named. Anyway, we'll see if Sone is going to be prepared for this SCV that's going to be in his, in his base. We did see this map earlier, and I forgot to name it then. Uh, but yeah, it's kind of got that initial ramp. This is where we saw the really fun, intense match earlier. I actually like this map quite a bit, and I could see it being in ASL Pro League, and I like that BSL highlights this. So Mars up to his old tricks. He's going to build the in-base barracks. We do have a supply depot being placed. Now the question is, does Sone end up going for an early command center? Will he scout this out? And how long is it going to be before he scouts and checks out what's inside Mars base? And that's going to be absolutely critical because depending on when you find this barracks, that can be the difference between victory and he's sending out, uh, this is also critical. He's building the barracks on the high ground. Oh, and he found it. Okay, so he's moving out that SCV. So maybe he got a look at Father's Game. Maybe he was just like, Mars is a cheesy mofo. So I'm going to check. But some sort of instinct. He's able to sneak out, find the space, and that is going to be critical. Got the SCV as well. So first of all, this... Wow, that's disastrous for Mars. So Mars now building a barracks inside of his base. That is huge. Okay, so first of all, I'm wondering what, what uh, prompted Sone to go check that out. So getting a refinery down... Now sending out his own SCV scout, Mars has to do something spectacular to come back in this match because everything is against him now. First of all, he's at an economic disadvantage because he attempted the cheese right off the bat. Second of all, he has no scouting information. He lost that SCV, and I don't know that he's going to get follow-up scouting information because I think there is going to be a marine and a blockading SCV when this scout makes its way around. Third, third, Sohn knows what he's up to and he's going to be able to get a scout inside of his base he's going to be able to see the three scv on gas so i, I think this is going to be a follow-up of some sort of factory push so i feel like if Sone just build just goes for a factory build of his own might want to move that marine a little bit forward if he goes for a factory build of his own he oh this is why he was out there he's going to build that supply depot i actually kind of like this supply depot in this corner i think he's planning it to build there against uh, drops or things like that so actually okay isn't able to blockade that he isn't able to body slam that SCV to prevent it from getting a scout. It looks like he's maybe distracted with the scout of his own. First Marine out for Mars. That actually took a little bit of damage from that SCV. Looks like it's tw got 12 health and it's going to back its way out. But I have to assume that we're, either, we're probably... Maybe we could see Starport play. That's the one thing that Mars could do otherwise. He's actually pulled back one SCV. And I think that Sone did get a look at this. But he's down to one SCV on gas. So he's actually reconsidering this and thinking about b going into more of an economic base build, which I think is a bit of a mistake, actually. Because Sone has shown himself to be a fairly macro-oriented player uh, up to this stage. And actually canceling the supply depot bill here. So maybe... Um, might be a little bit. But Sone actually going for one factory into expansion comparatively. Maybe because I think he saw those SCVs... Uh, across the edge. He's building a vulture of his own. It looks like Mars is just plopping down his own command center with a single marine up front, but I think the difference here is that Sone is going to be able to just meander out with this vulture, and I don't think that there is going to be... I don't think this vulture is going to be out here in time. Yeah, so this is going to force a bunker from Mars, and it's just kind of these little things that are putting him further and further behind economically. And I think the question is for Sone is, is, does he want to go for the same sort of aggressive? It looks like he might be doing that. He's he's plopping down a machine shop. He's got another factory. It looks like he's actually just going to keep this vulture in a defensive position, which I think is the right call here, actually. I have to I have to say, I think this is the right call because his concern is more, is Mars doing something cheesy against me? It looks like Mars was initially building Marine thought better of it canceled and wants to lift off and get scouting information perhaps because he's not feeling pressure now and he's like okay no pressure no counterattack. so let me go ahead and skip and skimp try to cut corners to get back in this match he does have an additional two marines in that bunker he's building his first tank we do have additional vultures being built and i'm curious if we're going to see a switch to uh looks like speed as well i'm curious if we're going to see additional tanks 
being built after this by Sone. Sone already has his natural expansion being built, and we're going to try to keep the timing out. So Mars not super far behind, but he is four SCVs under. And that is a significant disadvantage. I still feel like it's up to Mars to do something to kind of sneak back in this match. And it is possible that he just goes straight macro and he plays a little skimpy and tries to play a longer macro game and try to catch some corners here. That is the game Broodborn. You can get away with that. Three factories up for Sone, which is very supportable with the economy he has. That's not an all-in commit or a super aggressive build by any means. And he's the, the trick here though is he's pumping out nothing but vultures here. He has no siege tanks, perhaps because he realizes Mars is economically behind. That is what I feel is like risky at this stage with no command center, mo no scouting information. And maybe people can correct me TVT that have played more of it, Armory sneaking in the back corner. But I feel like this is actually significant risk because if Mars had instead switched back once that SCV exited, uh, exited and decided to go for more of a factory push with siege tanks, I don't know that these marine, that these vultures would cut it. Let's see if these... And actually, I kind of like this play, though, because if you plant mines, if you stop and plant mines here... Uh, oh, Marines were not in the bunker! And they're going to be able to slip by! Oh, and are they going to be able to plant mines on top of the factory line? Looks like they're already in the base. Looks like they're not splitting focus. They're just going to dive right onto the main supply line across that wide choke and there looks like they, we've already got five SCV kills, six SCV kills, seven just racking up the damage on the main and this is devastating for Mars. So I feel like he had everything actually in position to defend this but was just caught off guard and that vulture speed, they're sneaky and we're able to slip through and what I was wanting to see as kind of a follow-up is maybe some mines here in position, maybe some mines down below and yeah, saying like, okay, I do not want to have to deal with these vultures. Plopping an engineering bay to block the gap, which is more of an economic cost. And he is significantly behind in the overall SCV economic battle count. Where And this is where your economy, it's like your defense becomes your offense. So yeah, I love this. I like this from Zone. These, these mines able to scout. The speed vultures should be able to overtake and reinforce and do damage. Otherwise, this barracks is providing a little bit of scouting information comparatively, and it is possible. Okay, so yeah, the Mar missing a little bit of battle there. It looks like vultures on top of vultures, and Mars getting the better part of that because I think it was fewer versus more. A couple Goliaths out now, pushing that barracks back. And this, the, uh, that barracks should be able to get out of range before anything comes, but we still see only two barracks. Only two barracks and siege tech being upgraded from Mars, so Mars still trying to sit as though he's going for a longer economic game. Despite the fact that Sone is really just, I mean, he's just ahead in almost every guard. It looks like those Goliaths are doing the same thing on the opposite corner, forcing that unit into a more defensive position. But really what I feel, look, a single vulture being killed. Really critically here, though, these mines providing excellent scouting information. It's going to be a huge alert for Sone as to when this army is moving across. This is actually a significant army from Mars, and I'm not seeing equivalent forces despite... Okay, never mind. They're just kind of out in position. Sone does need to be careful here. Um, so the mine's providing that scouting information, but once these mines are down... Actually, is he going to do... I'm wondering if he's going to shoot his own mines to try to clear this minefield. No. This is kind of interesting. Mines on top of mines. And this is a, it's kind of a dangerous situation on the opposite side of the field where they're on the wrong side of the map. And this is only three Goliaths to defend. So it is possible that we could see another Vulture run by from Sone. Sone playing... This is the thing. I don't feel like he needs to play so aggressively defensively. I guess he's just wanting to keep an eye on Mars's additional expansions just in case repairing the siege tank that took a little bit of damage out in the field. He wants to play a little bit of defensive position just in case some of these units were pressed across the field. Mars moving forward, he's going to go ahead and take a look at any of the third bases. We have five factories, six factories now being plopped down for Sone as he's just amping up that production as he's thinking about taking a third. Mars will take a look at his uh, production. I like this. He actually moved these siege tanks with this SCV in, in anticipation of this, but that SCV does get picked off, which is going to delay that third base. Opposite corner, Mars is still sitting so he is plopping down three machine shops. So he's going to go very tank heavy, but he's still sitting at much, much, much uh, further behind uh, production overall. So I'm not seeing him do anything that is going to allow him to catch up in this match, any of the risks that he really needs to take to kind of slide back into this. And I feel like Sone is doing absolutely everything correctly 
in the opposite side of the field to try to, to keep his advantage, which is checking out, making sure Mar Mars isn't hiding. Look at this. He's got stuff all over the place, making sure there wasn't an additional base that was sneakily taken. Dropship out for Mars. So I think that's going to be his attempt at an answer here. One advantage for Mars is it looks like he does have that level one upgrade that, well, actually, let me double check that. I think that's level one weapons that's being upgraded unless level one's already finished, no. So he's gonna have an, a weapons upgrade advantage for a brief period in, of, of time. Trying to sneak forward and you can see uh, Mars sneaking forward with this engineering bay for scouting information, but already realizing that he's more or less boxed in. Goliaths making their way across I don't know that there's anything these... So maybe they can disrupt this third base. That would actually be critical. Is if they can pick off that SCV, disrupt this. But this is a 40 supply and and rising difference. And that dropship has been spotted. Plus he has the supply depot that was in position. Is he going to be able to get his forces back in time? And move the SCVs away though. So it looks like SCVs... Plop <laughs> plopping an engineering bay to disrupt the, the uh, drop right there. Allowing more time for reinforcements to move up. There are four Goliaths behind this line. There's a whole lot of SCVs there that look like they're going to die. It looks like Sone is not paying attention. And actually, I'm, I'm missing this. There was a, a drop of his own. So he missed the dropships being built on the opposite side of the field. Apologies for that. But so a huge drop on the opposite side. So it's going to be tit for tat. There was additional command center being built. Should have paid attention to the minimap. Ugh. And just rocking. Rocking the base. So it looks like, yes, there were units that were disrupted. Two Goliaths being pushed up. But Sone got a drop of his own off. And he now has double the supply of Mars. And I have to expect with this, uh, we're going to see a GG momentarily. S maybe a secondary drop. Yeah, there's GG. That is game. Oof. Well played by Sohn, I have to say. And he is going to advance to the round of eight. Mars still has a chance, though. He is going to go up uh, against our Protoss player space. I almost wanted to say flash their space in the uh, loser's bracket. Again, because father opted to drop out. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Moving on. Thanks for listening.